Moves in wrestling are important. Well, no fucking shit. I say this because I normally talk about everything else but the moves. But of course, the moves are important. It's it's wrestling. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. However, I would argue the moves exist beyond being a 15 second clip to go viral on Twitter. Unless you're Mizuki, in which case you can do whatever you want. Go, 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 do it. Go, go. It's also setting up for the finish. No shit. The logic of the match, if you will, dictated by whatever the finish is, if you will. I am not a wrestler, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you how a match is constructed, but that is the general story I sense. The variety of moves leading to many variations of the story that can be told. That explains everything! What I like about Japanese wrestling in particular is this. Rookies are given a basic set of moves to work with and whatever uniqueness they may have. And gradually, as they evolve, more moves and more personality are added until they have a finish, etc, 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 etc. No shit. WHY?! Conan has started in stardom since day one for sisters. And Laura has it that once the three sisters reunite, the age of darkness shall begin again. Again, <laughs> Hanan is a unique and fun case of someone you can watch from her debut to winning the Cinderella tournament and wearing the pretty princess dress. Wrestling is one of the great unique forms of entertainment that can do this with a character. To being this cute fighting judo warrior, to hitting her awkward goofy Hanan phase when I started doing this channel. And all these months, Hanan split her soul into four cruxes. This is Hanan. She likes to Hanan around and more mature Hanan there in her princess dress. Hanan vs. Soriano was excellent because it was the culmination of Hanan's arc to enter into that higher echelon of wrestlers on the cusp of greatness. It showed all her maturity, her experience, her toughness, no goofiness, straight business, and no freaking out. Hanan did a lot of screaming but never freaked out. She was collected and focused, easily Hanan's best performance and best match, and her dance partner is perfect to face against. Sorry, Ano, the wonder of stardom champion, the divine holder of the holy white belt, the ever, ever, ever effortless beautiful piece of art entering like a boss in the near series. One of my favorite wrestlers in general. Graceful, artful, eternal resting bitch face. 11 out of 10. They last met in the 5 star in an unexpected good tournament match, but this one blew it out of the water. The coming of age arc of Hanan entering a pivotal chapter. She had a great performance in this submission here. Her expression was wonderful, almost fading to the abyss but willing her consciousness awake to survive the aggression of Ano, who continues the pressure of Hanan's neck into the most unique fisherman suplex you'll see. Jeez! Really cool shit. And then there's this moment here with Anno on the top rope standing above Hanan, both figuratively and metaphorically. And Hanan would scream back into the fight and try her hardest, but she cannot reach her level. The smooth, badass coolness that is the boss of the white belt, Sayori effing Anno. But then Hanan proves her worth with one backdrop driver. And the second half of this match is all Hanan as the main character. What can she do in this championship match? She flies. She tortures Anno and forces her to crawl to the rope. Here's the reason why subtlety in the art of stoic acting works so well. Literally, this is all Anno does. And this goes miles. It just does. Despite Hanan's fire, she would have to survive the barrage of German suplexes from Soriano and then survive attempts at Tendre with the 1110 bridge, which she does with a massive powerful kick out, proving her worth right here. She would return fire with a cutie special and a wonderful backdrop driver that makes Daichi point to the bellkeeper because even he thinks this shit is over. Now, Hanan has exhausted all her wrestling moves. She has no choice but to once again go for a backdrop driver. But now Ano counted a predictable move and landed the pottering to score the victory over Hanan. Late stage Hanan needs to farm more souls to level up further, but this match was so solid. Hanan's best. This is what makes watching wrestling so rewarding. The growth in a year or two. We will see Hanan win titles and eventually become the ace if she fights hard enough. And then boy is the next challenge. And oh, hi, boy. We all know this is happening. Boy versus Ano. It's predictable, yes, but let it happen. It's going to steal everything. And oh, it's... It's Ami, boy. Okay. 
No, she wants a title boy, but boy wants a title boy, and she like, fuck you, no 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 fuck you, no, 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 wait, 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 boy, no 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 boy, and Anno, who must be used to the entirety of the world fighting over her, be like, stop it, fight for it. And boy, cute boy, but mad boy, but cute boy, but mad boy, and bye boy.